<laughs> you think Bobby would. So here we got uh, Theo Vaughn and uh, Tony Hitchcliffe talking about the whole thing with Brandon and Tiger Belly and how their reaction was when that was happening. Uh, let's take a look at this clip. He would have ability to email, everybody, especially since he's doing all that browser hunting already right around Brendan <laughs> Shaw's fucking... <laughs> Since he's stalking Brendan on his own, whatever. That whole debacle was, oh. that's one of the fun, it's almost like a sketch show. You know, oh. when you go watch that, it's like, they had like screen, like, Brendan doesn't own a computer, which is the funniest part of all of it, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, he's like, do he's getting this research, and he has like screen grabs on his phone. Uh, the whole thing was just so ridiculous. It's wild. Um, I couldn't get enough of it. That was like my, that was my. That was my like thing. I switched from like police interrogation videos to like following the <laughs> yeah. Shab and Bobby Lee thing for a while. It's a, my YouTube algorithms just filled with Bobby Lee, Brendan Shab, Kalila. Like I know weird. I'm because I can't. I there's just, some sometimes I'm on one thing and then sometimes I'm like maybe they did do that. <laughs> like it like switches quickly. It's like if you're talking to, you know, your gun toting friend and uh then all of a sudden you're with your liberal well if there were no guns and this and you know, like sometimes you can see both sides of the argument oh, yeah. i'm like well i mean brendan you know you some you know hate happens to people people are jealous you know you're a fighter turned comedian and then all of a sudden i saw one clip where Kalila's like yeah i'm a lot better at the internet than people think and i'll destroy someone it's like from an episode <laughs> years earlier and like i'm like whoa this yeah. is all wild because people have some old clips and serious breakdown videos of that stuff. Oh, it's well, I, I'm amazed at how <laughs> like the uh, what a there's such a world now with podcasting. There's also like this soap opera undercurrent yeah. of all of it. You yeah. know, I don't play it. You, you would think Kill Tony would be a big poker and like I get it. People like drama, but. I don't want, I, I've always looked at it like if you play that game, those are the types of fans you're going to get. You oh, want to You want to be drama, you want to do gossip, you want to do this, you're going to end up, then you're not even in the comedy world anymore. All of a sudden you're in the drama world. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I look at some of the people with successful YouTube shows and podcasts that aren't stand-up comedians, and I see them doing that Yeah, a like lot. Ethan Klein show does yeah. that a lot. Yeah. I notice they get a lot more like... But it's it, he's he does a great show, yeah. <clears throat> and Ethan's a, you know, we've had some great conversations, man. He's an extremely deep guy. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's just their world. I guess it's also what is drama your creates world, money, right? You know, and what do you like? Like some people, they like that, right? It's like I guess I don't. I Means he's right about that. Like, uh, lo people love drama. People love. Seeing other people lose their shit, right? They they uh they love seeing somebody suffer or deal with some sort of um like some deal with some sort of conflict uh and also they're you know seeing these famous famous people uh these influencers YouTubers comedians go against each other fight each other is quite you know something weird to see because you normally don't see that like other celebrities fighting other celebrities and exposing themselves or being exposed by somebody and you know for the tiger belly thing it was like shab who's a former ufc fighter turned comedian uh playboy playboy right uh apparently cheats on his wife joe rogan cheats on his wife all these like a lot of comedians cheats on their wives uh they have uh you know the tiger belly set which is bobby lee and kalila not really a couple maybe pretending to be a couple on paper to maybe boost up their 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 subscribers and keep a show going you know for the fan for the fan base you can definitely see why these things are interesting they're quite unique this doesn't really happen in in the normal day of life in your regular life and you get to see it all play out on the internet and it's quite funny you know it's quite a funny thing and then people love assuming things and cre creating a 
images of uh, what could be or what could possibly be in those in that form of you know in that drama that has been dished out and served to the world and it's it's very plenty it's very appealing for people to just click on on a certain video and, and start watching somebody's downfall or their apparent downfall and th like that's that's why like with with Brendan he's a, such a funny person to target because he's always he's like one of those nar narcissists and liars who gets like pretty easily gets caught li lying <laughs> and uh and also you know he, he's a very uh strange character but yeah I think uh I think that's all I'm gonna say about that I mean you know Theo knowing Bobby he probably knows a little bit more about it than we all do.